always think about safety as well. Like for example, in the PVZ, you know, instead of getting stalkers, get sentries. That means you can get your expansion early because sentries can make force fields. Yep. Okay, and keep you safe. Okay. Okay. So actually, just... uh, mm -hmm. uh, while I was playing a Staren, uh, yeah. there was a guy that Nexus firsted me, yeah. and of course he didn't put the Nexus on his natural <laughs> and on his third. Uh, my scouting sucks, so I didn't figure it out, and then he had like way more stuff than I did. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the earlier you get an expansion, the riskier it is, but the payoff is bigger later on, okay? Alright. It's just basically like, uh, you know, if I get an expansion at four minutes, right? The yep. expansion is more vulnerable to attack than a five minute expansion, for example. But the value of that expansion increases the earlier you get it. Okay, that's why Zergs go for that, like, hatchery first. Yep. Basically, so they can get that economic lead. So they can survive an attack. Um, a Protoss will get a Nexus first. So they can go, like, really quick uh, Stargate, really quick Robo, really quick uh, DTs to get that advantage. Okay? So basically, right. the later an expansion is, the safer it is. But the earlier it is, the more valuable it is, okay? Okay, uh, by the way, if I may ask one question. Sure. Uh, there was a guy, Zerk, who hatch firsted me. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I deal with that? I mean, I forgated him, but then he had like Mass Roach and some Spine Crawlers, so. Okay. Um, if I guess my forgate sucks. Yeah. Okay, if a Zerg hatches first, yep. uh, that means that their attack will generally hit a little bit later, if the Argon attack. So if a Zerg hatches first, like, don't worry, get your sentries, uh, get your expansion, and just wall off, okay? Okay. Like, literally, if you're if you're looking at your base now, okay? Yeah. Uh, so say you've just expanded, it's about seven minutes. What generally people do is uh, put a pylon, kind of where you put pylons now, and use this, like, the narrowest bit of the expansion to put gateways or a forge... Or something like that. Somewhere where you can easily, like, you know, if he, if he attacks with, like, 30 Zerglings, then you can just put a force field and cut his army in half. And then just kill his army. Okay? So that right. you... Basically, if, if someone goes for an early expansion, you've got two options, really. You can either expand yourself, or you can go kill him. Okay? <laughs> but you've got to make sure if you go for the kill, you get the kill. Okay? Okay, so a uh, sentry expand would be nice, right? Yeah, definitely. If, if he hatches first, just get a couple of sentries, expand, uh, and then just wall off. Especially versus a Zerg, just wall off. Um, obviously, you don't really need to wall off versus the Terran. It will probably hurt you more than help you. Um, but versus a Zerg, I would 100% wall off every single time. Like, if you take a third, like, block block this ramp, for example, with gateways, or cannons, or something. Uh, so, he doesn't, he can't just move freely. Like, if you cut a Zerg's movement, that's like 90% of their strength. Like, the reason Zerg can win is because they get surrounds, is because, you know, they can overwhelm, and it's because they can attack quickly. Um, a Protoss is more like a tank. Um, you know, they're heavily armoured, they're really, really powerful, and my god, if they shoot you, you are gonna have feel it. Uh, so, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Goal number two is map awareness. Right? I want you to make sure if his army moves out, you can see it. Right? So, if he right. moves out of his natural, you know... Leave an observer there, right? Or put a pylon somewhere on the map where he's gonna like move his army, or even just control the Zelnaga watchtowers. It's as simple as that can be, and you'll realise that all of a sudden, if you know attacks coming, you can defend it. If you know he's moving out, that means he's not making probes, he's not, you know, droning up. He's he's going for an attack, and you can prepare. And if you know something's coming, it gives you, like, 
such an advantage over if you're playing blind, for example. So, second goal is always know where his army is and when it's moving, okay? Okay. And there's so many ways to do that, as I've explained, you know, observers, pylons, probes, Naga towers, um, even like, you know, just moving your army and just seeing where his is, basically. Your third goal is to make sure you're always spending your money, okay? Okay. Uh, this can be literally achieved by, you know, if your money's getting a little bit high, add on a couple of gateways, okay? All right. Uh, if it's getting even higher, add on more gateways, add an expansion. So just make sure that money's always being spent. Um, I don't mean like a, you know, you've got 300 minerals. Oh my God, I should throw down two gateways and a pylon like immediately. Um, it just means that like, if it's getting to kind of like seven, eight hundred, just think where can I be spending my money? Like, you know, you can add on gateways, you can add on expansion. Um, you know, you can start teching, for example. If you've got like 400 gas and 800 minerals, like throw down uh, a robo bay, uh, start getting colossus. You know, start getting upgrades. Just make sure that money's always being spent because at the end of the day, if you've got more stuff than him, you'll probably win. <laughs> All right, noted. Cool. Um, I mean, is there anything like specific you want to get into, or? Uh, do you know any like build orders, like really good ones? And I don't mean like uh, three gate robo or four gate, mm. or, like one gate star gate. I know. Um. Yeah. I mean, you can find these builds like everywhere, and I mean, there's probably better, you know, people that you know make the builds and post on Team Liquid that are far yeah. more qualified to you know, teach you their build than I would be. But generally you want kind of one build for each matchup. Um, for example, you know, you want your free gate expand for PvZ, uh, you want your free gate robo for PvT, and probably a free gate robo for PvP as well. Um, and again, you can get the specific timings and food counts from like Team Liquid or whatever. Like, uh, But generally, like, at this level, a build doesn't matter as much as when you're in masters and by the time you masters you'd have learned like 30 or 40 builds anyway <laughs> so generally at this level like i literally pick a build and stick to it like right now uh, pvz would be your free gate central expand uh, pvp free gate robo pvt would probably be a free gate robo as well i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't bother learning anything more than that right now just All right. concentrate on making probes, making pylons, making gateways, getting stuff. <laughs> That's all you need to work on, okay? All right. Awesome. Um, anything else? Like, just while we've got a little bit more time. I I don't know. Like, I could search for re replay. Mhm. Mm uh, but mostly, I've been playing uh, team games with my friends as part of so. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way to practice. I mean, uh, you know, if you're feeling a little bit stressed out by ladder, then just, you know, practice how to, you know, wall off in team games, for example. Like, if you go for, like, a 3v3 with friends or whatever, like, just look for a... I know it sounds really silly, but look for, like, a choke point, you know, near your base that you're thinking, right, I'm going to wall this off perfectly. You know, uh, make a lot of sentries so you can practice your force fields. I mean, it's team games. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um you know, just have some fun with the army. You know, experiment with unit composition, stuff like that. And then hit the 1v1 ladder and just decimate it. I mean, that's what I want to see. I want to see you hit, like, you know, rank 1 platinum. You know, and you can then start teaching me some stuff about Protoss. Because I know... Yeah. I don't know a lot about Protoss. Like, I'm a Zerg man. I know enough to get me through. Like, I could probably get Protoss to Masters. I could probably get Terran to Masters. Um, and that's literally because... I know how to spend money, I know how to expand, and I know how to kill stuff. <laughs> and with those three things, if you practice them, you can literally take them to any aspect of this game and win. So yeah, um, I mean, is there any sort of like closing question you'd like to ask uh, before we kind of like end this uh, session? 
No, I think I'm good. Awesome. Like, I've been looking for replay, but these are just the old ones. Yeah, that's no I problem. I was playing the Terran. Yeah. But they're, like, long and boring. <laughs> yeah, most Terran games are. <laughs> um, yeah, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's coaching session anyway. I did. Awesome. Uh, so I liked it. Um, if you can probably follow up with me in, like, maybe a day or two, uh, just, you know, showing me that you've aimed for these goals in this game and, you know, you've come out ahead. I mean, that's really what I want to see. All right, I will be uh, making sure that I send you the replays, that I improve. Yep, awesome. <laughs> All right, just work, honestly, work on those three goals and you'll see your play rise to a new level, like, almost instantly. All right. Awesome. All right, well, I hope you enjoy today. And, uh, yeah, get in touch as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Awesome. Bye-bye now. I see ya. Bye. Okay, guys, that was another coaching session. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Again, uh, you know, I'm practicing my coaching. I'm really enjoying it so far. And, yeah, basically, uh, these videos will be uploaded to my YouTube um, you can contact me for coaching. It should be on screen right now if Xplit's not playing up again. <laughs> I love the software, but it's like quite unstable at the moment. So yeah, if you enjoyed, you can uh, click like on the YouTube videos. That's like a good indication that you like something. One, yay. Uh, you could post on Reddit about me. That'd be really, really good as well. Uh, you can favorite and follow me on Twitch.tv. Uh, what else can you do to help? What else? Uh, yeah, just generally tune in and enjoy yourselves. I mean, <laughs> that's all I aim for here. So yeah, guys, uh, I usually stream ladder as well uh, during the day, so if you tune into that, amazing. So guys, uh, if you want to contact me about coaching, you can do so via Twitter at scbuttmeup, or you can do so via my Gmail, which is scbuttmeup at gmail.com. You can also contact me through Reddit. Uh, I, I post quite frequently you can contact me on team liquid oh god there's so many ways to get in contact with me like just do it guys okay you'll enjoy yourselves i promise okay well this has been another coaching session and i hope you enjoyed it the vods will be up asap and yeah thank you very much for tuning in and goodbye